Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and we have bad lighting tonight, but that's okay. I'm gonna have shadowing behind me. It is in the evening and I have a Dollar Tree haul and I have coffee. Mm, it's so good. And I have a Bath and Body Works candle. I'm gonna blow it out. It's lilac. Oh, I love the smell of lilacs, guys. And the good thing is, on this candle, I don't have to burn it all the time. Like, when I came home from work, I could just smell it, which was lovely. I do love Bath & Body Works candles. Oh, yeah, I'll show you some of my cross stitch. Here's an ornament that I finished. Here's my February ornament. I mess with the colors on it. That's okay. And my January ornament. If you're not in our Facebook group, I share this stuff over there, and you... You guys share with me what you make. And it's a little hippopotamus for Christmas. Uh, this month's ornament, I think, is going to be a giraffe. I know. Okay, let's get started with the Dollar Tree stuff. I don't have a ton, but I found some fun things. Um, let me, I'm not sorting necessarily, but I do want to take some things out. What do we got in here? Oh. I have some gum. I need that. I got some cinnamon gum. I love cinnamon gum. Um, I grabbed some Aline's. Uh, Aline's, yes. If you're my age, you remember this from way back when. It's the, it's the best tacky glue. I use it mainly on here. So this is just some yarn I got at the Dollar Tree, and I glue it in place with some pins, and it dries clear. I also use it to, like, hold the fabric on here and then I hot glued this together but I use it a lot um I used it to hold the rickrack and attach it to the cross stitch as well and I was almost out so I bought another bottle the one thing I don't care for these bottles is the lid it goes on but it's not airtight oh hi dub it's not airtight and so it dries out but I bought Dollar Tree squeeze bottles the, in the cross section that when you turn it, it's like a glue bottle and it goes up and it seals it. And I just dumped this into that bottle and it's been working fine. I have some books. I think I bought this before and gave it away. So I got a second one just to have. It is a Who's a Good Dog? A keepsake memory book for somebody. It's like a baby book, but it's if you get a puppy. And I need to keep these, so I gave one away, but anybody I know that gets a puppy, I give them none of these books and some toys and stuff, and I think it's great. And it has, like, just like a baby book, pictures in here, stories, all kinds of stuff. I mean, it's basically a baby book for your dog or cat. I've never seen a cat one, but if somebody does, I'm going to need that. But I've only ever seen the dog, excuse me, the dog one. And then for the readers, young readers I have in my life, this is the Hardy Boys series, four book series. Um, they're all, I think Sarah said these are like first, second grade reading level, you know, but there's four books in the series. So I thought, well, let's grab them while they were there. So we have Hopping Mad, Mystery Map, The Missing Mitt, and Trouble at the Arcade. So I grabbed those four um, because I think any new readers, these are just such great books. I think I have the Nancy Drew ones as well, somewhere over here. I know I do. Um, I picked up, oh yes, for Easter Basket for Sarah. She enjoys doing her nails, um, the gel nails. And what these clippies are, is you use them, you put, so you have to soak your nails to get the gel off. So you wrap it in aluminum foil with a cotton ball, aluminum foil, and then you squeeze these and it holds it on. I have the silicone ones, but I grabbed these for her to help her take her gel tips off. I grabbed two sets because I wasn't sure of the quality. Say hi, Dubs. Hey. Hey. He's not paying attention. He's deaf. Thumbnail. Do you want to hide him? No. So I grabbed those for Easter basket stuff. And then they had this burlap, craft burlap. This one has daisies. 
on it, which is adorable. I don't know how, it's probably a fat quarter. And then this one, I just think they're fun. I have some other ones too. I don't really have a plan. Oh, here they are. I don't really have a plan set aside for what I'm gonna do with them, but I just found them fun. I love decorating with burlap. So if you get the piece, it doesn't have paint on it. It's super, you know, soft and pliable. And then this is the one that has bumblebees, which I may make a bow out of this for a summer wreath. So I grabbed these four. I'm gonna put these in a bag, actually. Um, they do they do tend to shed the fabric, but I thought that would be super fun to make, you know, backgrounds or something like that. Let's see. Oh, I also picked up this. Um, what I really want is just the wire, but they didn't have just the wire, so I'm gonna try it with this. But I saw on Etsy, I don't have a chapstick, but what the lady did is they wa they wrap it around chapstick and put a loop that hooks into your air conditioner vent. And then you it holds your chapstick all summer and keeps it, when it's air is on in your car, it keeps it cold. I need that because my, my um, chapstick melts because I leave it in my car. So this is jute wrapped wire. I really just want the wire. I don't know what gauge wire this is. Uh, doesn't say, but it is a Greenbrier product. And we've seen these before. I just picked that up for that project. Oh, and then I found for summer crafting, um, they have the Buffalo check, which I always equate this pattern for in summer for like the gingham tablecloths, like summer. And it's, it's, this is actually, it's, um, vinyl for the joy the cricket joy i don't need a cricket joy but you don't have to have so you can use cricket joy size vinyl on any cutting machine but you can't use any size vinyl on a cricket joy because this is only the width that a cricket joy will cut so i grab that because i think it'll be fun for summertime 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 i grabbed the new comb for me um i like to have these i'm getting ready to do some travel videos i have to cut off that thing but i want to show you this is pretty much the only thing i use on my hair because of my curls when i'm trying to keep my hair curly and i get out of the shower i just comb through it with this and for travel these are great i have one here but if i can keep one in my travel in my suitcase that'd be fantastic and i like the print on it but yeah, I just run this through my hair and then I put my product and scrunch it up and go out the door wet. And then it gets, um, oh, here they are. It gets, you know, it dries curly and then I can fluff it up. And then they have the Nancy Drew version. So this is Nancy Drew and the Glue Crew. Um, oh, the Clue Crew, I'm sorry. <laughs> Sleepover Sleuths. The Cinderella Ballet Mystery. This is Pony Problems. And a Scream for Ice Cream. So I think this is a great little library of books for any new reader. And they are technically a chapter book, um, but they have the nice big print and very short chapters and some pictures. So I don't I don't abide by one has to be for boys, one for girls. I'm just going to give them to my coworker who has a son who will be learning to read. And I know she does not abide by he can only read the Hardy Boys. She will absolutely let him read Nancy Drew because there's nothing wrong with that. So I'm going to take that for him because I thought it was just, oh, I've already showed you this one. Oh, I have a lot less than I thought, don't I? Sorry, I have another packed bag over here. Well, we'll just chat. Um, can we talk about the little Volkswagen bug? Quite frankly, I'm so tired of the red truck. I know people are going to think that's not good, but I'm just tired of it. So I thought this was something different. And I think a little punch bug will be super cute painted for summertime. And it's different. And all I'm going to do is probably paint it and put a couple small blocks on the back with hot glue and it will stand on its own. Take that out. 
I know, cute, huh? I love painting, painting the wood. I think I already showed you all of that stuff. And this, so we have one bag left. Oh no, I'm not done in here. I have a lot more. Okay, so for Sarah's Easter basket, they had these Kiss nails. Look how fun they are. So she likes the fake nails that you glue on. If she's gonna wear uh, fake nails, um, and these are the glue on ones. I got her the other set that they had too, but she wears these all the time. So I said, well, that's great for her Easter basket. So this, I wear the press on nails. These are the glue on set. So I grabbed that for her Easter basket, which I need to start doing some inventory because I feel as if I might be done doing Easter basket stuff. Okay. Then I found this, which we're going to look at closer, but it is a little embroidery kit, which is super fun. And it comes with, let's see, it's a whole kit. And if like, I've not done embroidery before. So here's your directions, it has your pattern all the floss that you need and the directions on the stitches, which is fantastic. And this is different than cross stitch because it's a printed on and then you outline and then fill in. But look at, isn't that fun? I wish this was like press and um, that this would wash away and I could do this on like my denim jacket or something. So you get the little piece of fabric. You don't get a hoop, but I have a hoop. You get a needle and then you get all the floss that you would need. Um, I'm gonna guess and say this is not DMC, but what do I know? I don't really know much of anything because I don't, I'm gonna double check, but I'm gonna assume that it doesn't say what it is. Um, but you're going to do a satin stitch, a French knot, a spider web stitch, back stitch, and a straight stitch to make this pretty picture. And I'm going to try it at some point, who knows when, but they had this, they had a couple other ones, but this was the one that I thought was fun. Then I grabbed these. These are water soluble marking pencils for sewing. And I use these when I make baby quilts, which I need to do soon. So you get a white and a blue. And instead of it wiping off like chalk or the heat, this one you have to wash, which is fine for quilts because you wash them after you do them. So I'm assuming my store eventually is going to get some patterns like the other stores. Because they also had thread. And I picked up a tape measure which is lovely. These are, I, you can never have too many tape measures when you're crafting. I mean, it's not really a tape measure. It's the only thing a tape measure. Um, yeah, so they're getting in some sewing supplies. They had needles before. So I'm kind of hoping they get um, the sewing patterns. It's itchy. I'm, I can't tell if we're warm or we cold anymore in Ohio. I got this LA color fun fact is cruelty free so they do not sell it in China and that is actually what I've been learning on this cruelty free journey that I'm doing um, with beauty products if it's sold in mainland China it's 100% tested on animals it doesn't matter what the company says if they choose to sell it in China mainland it has to by law be tested. So what the companies are saying is it's cruelty free. And then there's this little fine print that says unless required by law. So it's not really cruelty free because you are allowing your products to be tested on animals. The other thing is there's a little bit of a gray area that if let's say it's not sold on mainland China, but they allow it shipped to China, then that can still be governed. So just as a heads up, uh, but this is not, this is LA color and I got a conceal correct in green. And we're gonna try this, not right this second, but I will, Ooh, that is some good coverage. So if you're not aware, green, that is actually nice quality for a dollar. 
because trust me, I'm using some $30 stuff right now. What the green does is it neutralizes the red pigment. And so all of these here, these marks that are left over from my um, chemo treatment, when I had the topical chemo, it will eventually fade, but she said I need to keep it covered with sunblock and concealer for a while because it's going to take some time for my skin pigment to even out. And so I, I have others, but I wanted to try this because, like I said, the other product was $45 and it is not cruelty free, but I bought it last year. So I need to finish that and then I'm going to try this. And the thing is, it goes under any kind of foundation, really, if you want it. You don't have to. I mean... You might be, if you don't get it really good and blended, you're going to have a green tint to yourself. So you usually put it on and put some foundation over it. Uh, but I want to try it. I've seen other YouTubers um, using it. And then B Color, I need to check this one. I'm pretty sure. Um that I read that this is also cruelty free, but I need to double check. But this is brilliant lip gloss with glitter. So I ordered on Amazon some lip stain to come because I love a lip stain. I just like to put it on in the morning and forget it for the rest of the day. I'm just not a fussy makeup kind of girl. So the stain though, you'll put, oh, sorry, you'll put some lip gloss over it. So we are going to, oh, it smells good. Mm. It's very thick and shiny. I don't know about the glitter, if you can see it, but I think it'll be fun to put on over my, um, lip stain. Yeah, that looks good. Uh, that was just a receipt. So I just thought this was fun to try. It reminds me of like the lip glosses from my teens and pre my tween years when I was in like sixth, seventh grade when I wasn't allowed to really wear makeup, but I had all the different colors of lip gloss. So we had that. And then the last things I picked up, nothing crazy. Um, I grabbed this. And it says, beware of dog kisses, because Luna has a kissing problem. And it's a big, um, clothespin, but it will sit up. And then you put the dog picture. So I'm going to print a picture of Luna in this for Sarah, because I like her. And we'll put a picture of Luna on that. And then she can just sit it on her mantle or take it to work. The other one says, I love my dog, but this says, beware of dog kisses, because her dog is a kisser. <laughs> so I grabbed that for Sarah, not for a gift, just to give to her. Um, some more, you know I love these things. I'm obsessed with them. I drink them all summer. And actually, I got my coworkers hooked on them now, too, because, you know, I'm a water drinker now. That's what I tell them. All right, if you watched my other video, I'm wondering if I have it right here. I do, I do. Okay, so I bought these the last time. And this this size container they had out, no, this style of container they had out last year, not this specific size. So this is long and thin. And I purchased these thinking how fun if they fit, but I really wasn't 100% convinced that they would fit and I wasn't gonna stand in the store and take things apart. But just in case nobody knew this, they fit in here like perfectly. So I grabbed a couple more, right? Then I picked up these little ones. And you get four of these little ones. Perfect. Now, I have just made myself a storage container for all of these little bitty crafty thingies. Mostly beads, little stickers, things, you know, pins and clips and push pins and 
charms and beads. And this is going to be perfection. So to do this, right? And, and it doesn't, I needed two of these contain. Well, I bought two of these containers. I got three packages of the three packs because each takes one, two, three, four. So yeah, I needed three packages of these and one package of these will, would have done it unless you want like two little whatever combination, but they fit. Per I'm so excited. They fit perfect. Maybe this should be our thumbnail. They fit perfect. I'm so excited. So now I'll have two of these to keep all of my, my little doodads in that I have all over my house. So that is perfect. And then the last thing I grabbed is this little bunny head. So fun fact, I have at work the pink Christmas, the pink Christmas tree from Valentine's Day. And I was going to bring the white one in, but I thought, no, I really like the pink one. And for Valentine's Day, I had a gnome, a Valentine's gnome, one of these sitting on top. And I was just going to use the pink one again. But then I saw this Easter head and I'm like, I can use that. It's my tree topper. So I'm going to put this on top of the tree. And then I got Easter eggs to decorate my tree with. I have a little shelf on my desk that I don't use because we don't really use a lot of paper. And it's like a paper inbox tray thing. Um, and then I can just remove. It's supposed to be a, an ornament. But I can just cut the string off and then that will sit right on top of the Christmas tree. And then I have an Easter bunny tree. And I bought at Christmas time a white tree skirt. But you can use anything you want. And I'll take a picture and post it to the Facebook group. But that is everything I got this week at the Dollar Tree. My stores are slowly getting some stuff in. Like these little fun makeups and Easter basket stuff. I haven't seen the big like spring container thing. Like I'm, my stores are getting, I literally found two of this container and that was it. I'm assuming they had other ones, but I don't know. So my store is not, ooh, you know what I can use this for? Sorting my crystal lights if I want to, or my little drink mixes. Um, but my store, I haven't seen anything too exciting yet. And they're not getting in things consistently. You know, we're getting a lot of, a little bit of this, a little bit of that again. So I grab what I grab. I have a couple more um, content, sponsored content videos coming up. I have... Uh, oh, a Perry page. It's a little thermal printer. It is so cute. I'm going to record that here in a minute. And then I got um, luggage, a new carry-on luggage. So I want to show you that because I'm starting to get ready. I've got two trips, three trips this year planned. One to D.C. at the end of this month or Alexander, Virginia, but that's for my aunt's um, celebration of life. That will be coming up. And then I'm going to Canada in May and I'm going to Canada in October. So I have a new carry-on luggage that was sent to me to try out for that trip. And then next year, I'm going to Ireland and then England. One trip. So I'm going over to Dublin, touring around that country for a while, a week, and then finishing the week in England, two days at a cross-stitching retreat in England. So I'm excited about that. So I have some Timu hauls coming up. And one of the Timu hauls is all travel related items to try to get everything for a week in um, Europe in a carry on only. That's going to be my, that's my goal I set for myself for next year is to go for an entire week. I'm not saying I'm not going to do laundry over there because I think I found a hotel already that offers laundry service. So packing will be like two pair of jeans and a pair of leggings. And then I'll wear the jeans twice and the leggings and then have them laundered, that kind of thing. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna try to get into either a carry-on luggage, a rolling bag or a carry-on backpack. Ooh, a carry
carry-on backpack. You heard it here first, folks. I am the notorious Girl Scout. I need to, just in case. Everything is just in case. But we're not just in casing because the airline that I... Going over is not the issue and coming home is not the issue. And there's no issue. But I want to go carry-on only from Dublin to England because I'm taking a small commuter jet, but a little tiny plane. And they're very strict about their carry-ons. So we'll see if I can do it. I'm not sure that I will be able to because also the weight has to be under 20 pounds. And I can tell you that my carry-on suitcase, if I use my wheeling one, is 10 pounds. So there's no way I'm going to get under the weight limit with two pair of jeans even. But we'll see. All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed my Dollar Tree haul. I'll let you know how this um, concealer works. This green color correct i need to put it all over and then you bouge it in and then i have some foundation to go over it until this all clears up where are your sunblock friends all right guys i will talk with you later bye